carefully planted row after row. These once green fields of Nottinghamshire are harvesting power from the sun. The scale can only be appreciated from above. You could fit 20 football pitches in here and they want to get almost 5 megawatts of power out. Roger Pikett's family has farmed this land near Newark for four generations. He's seen it transformed in just a few weeks. It's awesome, really, to change a field from um, grazing horses and a bit of arable into a power station It's uh, in six weeks. Horton is one of almost a dozen solar farms built across the east of England since February, each one larger than the last. So why the rush? Well, companies are trying to beat a deadline at the end of this month, which will drastically cut the amount of money sites of this size can earn by feeding power into the national grid. The cut-off for the government's new feeder tariff is 50 kilowatts, so about this many solar panels. But that leaves a huge question mark over the future of solar farms the size of this one. Essentially, the, the, the change of heart from, from the government basically means that large-scale solar such as this um, is essentially dead. They've cut the tariff very, very significantly, and it just doesn't make financial sense. Where wind farms have often triggered objections, the planning application for this went through in a month with strong local support. As, as far as I can see it, it's a sort of low impact, high yield, well high enough for the local area anyway, so it's nothing for the positive really. There's a proposal that they're going to build another 5,000 houses around here, so I mean it's going to help those, isn't it? Five megawatts is enough for 1,300 homes. The government says the new tariff will ensure there's enough incentive money left for smaller projects too. Anthony Bartram, BBC News, Nottinghamshire.